Welcome back, everybody. One more pumpkin recipe. Uh, Chef Ken Hall is here with something that he calls the bomb, the pumpkin <laughs> bomb. So uh, um, at, this looks um, really fun, delicious, and different. And it's got pumpkin and cranberry. Yes. Well, Two you, great you, fall flavors. Right. Well, you think pumpkins, you always think, you know, pumpkin pie or cranberry or something along right. that line. Right. So I kind of combine the two. And um, the, the pumpkin mousse that I make, that's the recipe we're going to do, and I'll go through the, the assembly process. I used to also do a maple syrup mousse mm. where you could just replace some of the, the pumpkin with some maple syrup and really give it a nice flavor mm. as well. Mm. Um, in the pot on the stove, yes. what I've got is I've got a half a bag of just whole cranberries. Okay. I've got a quarter cup of sugar and two tablespoons of water. You just bring it to a boil and let it simmer to where your cranberries are soft. Okay. We're going to puree that. That's going to be our jelly to spread on our sponge cake. Okay. And I, I'm very, this, when this is hot, either let it cool and put it in your food processor or blender or use one of these babies. These immersion blenders are fantastic. Yep. So I'll go ahead and work on that. Now tell everybody you started with the cake too. And the right. full recipe for the cake. Is, is, on, on the, is, is online. So we're not right. going to make the cake today, but it's a sponge cake that you do in a jelly roll pan? Right. And, and what we do is we, we do it in a jelly roll pan and we spread it on, a, on the cookie sheet thin instead of baking it to be thick. We want it thin so that we can roll it. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's a standard sponge cake. You separate your yolks and your white. You beat your whites. You have your yolks. You mix that with the pumpkin and the brown sugar and the flour, and then you fold your whites in and you spread it real thin and you bake it at 400 for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, all right. And it comes out real nice and it's pliable. You let it cool before you roll it, and then we have our jelly. Now for our filling, our pumpkin mousse is we're going to take one cup of pumpkin. Oh, those cranberries smell like Thanksgiving. It smells so good. <laughs> so we're going to do we're going to. Finish out this because we use the rest of this for the pancakes. Okay. So we're going to take that and then I've warmed up the cream cheese a little bit. Just to we're soften gonna use it. Just to soften it. Should we get it. these going? Yep, get okay, that cream going. cheese and pumpkin. Right. You know, some recipes don't call for the whole can of pumpkin, so refrigerate it for a couple of days and use it, you know, in something else. Right, and, and that's why, you know, if I'm going to do it, you, like you said, when you entertain, you do a theme, so we'll do the pumpkin batter and let that sit for pancakes and then we use it here for, for a dessert. And then if you want to turn that down just a sec. And then a little bit here, of powdered sugar? Yep, we got three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. So this is pumpkin mousse. Now we're using this to go in this cake, but you could use this just in a parfait dish, I'm assuming. You oh, know, with absolutely. Some, whipped cream or... some ginger snap cookies. Oh, yeah. Take some cranberries and put some cranberries, Ooh. some sun dried cranberries in there, or yeah. use this as a syrup over the top. That would be really good as well. And then once we get that together and. Um, Not real smooth, so we're going to get it just a minute. You probably yep. pretty smooth, I'm assuming. You don't want any lumps right. in there from the cream cheese. Right, and then we'll, we'll fold in our, our whipped topping. Now, as far as the assembly goes, while well, that's whipping, okay. what we've got is we've got um, use any kind of dish you want. You can use a big dish or a small dish. You can even use a, like a coffee cup if you're doing individual desserts. Okay. And what we do is we line it with plastic wrap, so you kind of push your fingers down this way to get it in, and then we spray it with with a pan spray. Okay of your choice or rubber with a little olive oil depending on what you want to do. And then I've got the, the sponge here, the jelly roll, that I already have rolled up. So you see how the cake is real thin. And then we've got that cranberry on the inside, we roll it up. Now we're just going to cut thin strips. Oh, the presentation on this is going to be amazing. Well, we've got a big one made already that we'll go ahead and cut in a second. But So this is just the inside of your sure. little jelly roll. And what we're going to do is we're going to start right in the bottom. We're going to press that down into the bottom, and then we're just going to shingle this around. You know, this, this step, you don't want to skip it. I know it's taking a little bit, and it's a little loud, but if you, if you don't get the lumps out of that cream cheese at the beginning, you're not going to get them out. So right. we want this to be a nice, smooth mousse. So I'm going to let this be just a little bit longer. Okay, yeah. we're just about out of time, Ken, too. So. All right, so then well, you would take this mousse and fill it. Well, we'll go ahead and, and do that. And then we'll cover it. So at this point, once it gets nice and smooth, we'll yep. put in the... We'll put in half a container of your whipped topping. Okay. Now I did a little bit larger one and I wrapped it with plastic wrap so you just want to loosen it a little bit 
Make sure that your plastic wrap can come off. And now we're going to need to invert it onto your serving plate. So you hold it tight this way and flip it over. And we'll take oh my the gosh, off. that is beautiful. Wow. So this is the finished product. And again, you can do it in smaller increments. You sure. can even do it in coffee cup size. Wow. We are out of time. We'll let you cut into it and we'll show you how gorgeous it looks when we come back.